Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this session is quick revision of unit number 4 that is peripheral supports in PIC 18F. So this is quick revision part 2. Dear students, in this session I will be explaining some important programming concepts. We will also solve few questions related to programming which are easy, you should not skip such programs. Let us start the session with timer 0. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Draw and explain the functional block diagram of 8-bit timer 0 or 16-bit timer 0 or uh, timer 1 and compare the timers of uh, PIC 18F microcontroller. So first we will talk about timer 0 that is 8-bit. Just as I have told timer 0, timer 1, timer 2. Teen timer se. In case of timer 0, we have option of 8-bit and 16-bit. Presently, we are talking about timer 0, 8-bit. So this is the diagram, block diagram of timer 0, 8-bit. Just as I have told you, options are 8-bit and 16-bit. This is only 8-bit diagram. There are many uh, common portions for 8-bit or 16-bit. Uh, I will be explaining that part. This diagram is basically consists of some major parts like first part is selection of a clock signal which is shown by this block, these blocks then prescaling factors मतलब जो oscillator frequency है जो frequency है उसको prescale करना है that is by using uh, timer 0 prescale 2 then 1 and 0 bits then next block is loading the timer we will have to load the timer in this case it is uh, timer 0 lower resistance in 16 bit there will be one more resistance and generating a flag bit first features we will talk about features these are the features for timer 0 Deekho, jo bl blue ink se hai. that is common explanation for timer 0 8 bit and timer 0 16 bit presently I am only talking about 8 bit so features which are common for both 8 bit and 16 bit these are features of timer 0 so it is programmable 8 or 16 bit timer or counter that means it can act as timer as well as counter both it is both readable and writable then programmable prescaling this this prescale factors uh, can be programmed then clock can be internally generated signal I mean internally generated oscillator frequency or you can make use of external clock this external for selection of external clock we have to use edge selection then interrupts on overflow for 8 bit overflow interrupts will be from FF to 0 0 and for 16 bit it is FF FF to 0 0 0 0 H that is hexadecimals Again, these are common points. Jo, as I have told blue ink se jo likha hai, wo common explanation hai for 8-bit as well as for 16-bit. Timer 0 operates as a timer if clock source is from instruction cycle. That means, I say yaad rakhlo. If the clock source is F oscillator upon 4, this F oscillator, that is oscillator uh, frequency, that is internal uh, instruction cycle clock signal, which is F oscillator by 4, then this acts as a timer. As I said, this is acting as a timer as well as counter. Then, T0 CS bit of timer 0 control register is 1. Matlab, ye bit, T0 CS bit of timer 0 control register is set equals to 1. It act, acts as a counter and gets pulses from this pin, TOCKI pin or uh, pin number 4 of port A. Then select it. Just I have told you, this block is divided it into different parts like selection of clock, press scaling, loading timer, and checking the overflow flag. Values. ये जो blanking से लिखा है, it is only for 8-bit uh, timer zero. So values from 00 to FFH are loaded in this timer zero L register. Sets timer zero IF flag. That is uh, uh, this flag, interrupt flag of timer 0 control register after overflow matlab overflow hone ke baad ye flag uh, this flag bit will be set which is the bit of timer 0 control register then interrupt can be masked if the interrupt is generated interrupt can be masked by clearing timer 0 ie bit that is interrupt enable bit next part is 
टाइमर जीरो सिक्सटीन बिट जैसे मैंने बताया बहुत सारा एक्सप्लेनेशन कॉमन है जो मैंने अभी इससे पहले बताया है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम भी कॉमन है जो मैंने रेड इंक से बना है दैट इज एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट फॉर सिक्सटीन बिट वी नो दैट फॉर सिक्सटीन बिट वी नीड टू रजिस्टर्स सो दिस इज डन बाई मेकिंग यूज ऑफ टी एम आर जीरो एल विच इज सेम एज दैट ऑफ टाइमर जीरो एट बिट एंड टी एम आर जीरो एच दिस टू विल गिव अस द सिक्सटीन बिट कॉम्बिनेशन देन This block is timer zero high byte. Actually, this timer zero H is acting as a buffer between timer zero high byte and data bus. Remaining all the explanation is same. Some extra points for sixteen bit operation are this. Just I have told you, this buff, this act, this block acts as a buffer when microcontroller reads timer zero L. This is the read. पिन वेन माइक्रोकंट्रोलर रीड्स दिस टाइम टाइमर जीरो एल द कंटेंट्स ऑफ टाइमर जीरो हाई बाइट आर सेंट टू टाइमर जीरो एच मीन्स वेन एवर द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर रीड्स दिस वैल्यूज वट एवर द कंटेंट्स आर देयर इन केस ऑफ हाई बाइट रजिस्टर्स दैट विल बी ट्रांसफर टू टाइमर जीरो एच रजिस्टर आफ्टर लोडिंग द टाइमर जीरो एल एंड टाइमर जीरो एच रजिस्टर्स द टाइमर इज स्टार्टेड and whenever the timer reaches it is same similar to that of uh, timer 0 8 bit but in this case whenever the count reaches from fffh to 0000h then interrupt flag is sent this is the block diagram of timer 1 it is almost similar to the earlier two diagrams apart from smaller differences this timer 1 is again 16 bit so two registers we are using timer 1 l lower register and higher register it is a 16 bit timer or counter it operates as a timer if the internal oscillation frequency is f oscillation upon 4 to enable this we have to make timer 1 oscillation enable pin is equals to 1 of timer 1 control register then these two pins timer 1 os0 and timer 1 os1 provides clock i mean these two pins provides a clock to the microcontroller these features are it is 16 bit timer or counter then both the registers that means tmr 1l and tmr 1h are readable and writable clock selection can be both from internal as well as external and like the earlier timers interrupt flag will be generated whenever the count is from fffh to 0000h because it is 16 bit its applications are the major application is for generation of delays then measurement of frequencies implementation of real time clock rtc is real time clock and for the generation of square wave so this is about the block diagram of timer 1 now an important part that is comparison of timer 0 timer 1 and timer 2 this table gives the comparison between these three timers number of bits for timer 0 it is 8 bit or 16 bits for timer 1 it is 16 bits for timer 2 it is 8 bits internal clock for timer 0 as well as for all timers it is f oscillator divided by 4 external clock which is h trigger triggered for timer 0 it is timer 0 ck1 pin then it is timer 1 oscillator and there is no provision for external clock as far as timer 2 is concerned pre scaling for timer 0 is 1h to 2 up to 1h to 256 for timer 1 1h to 1 1h to 2 1h to 4 and 1h to 8 for timer 2 it is 1h to 1 1h to 4 1h to 16 overflow flag ff to 00h for timer 0 ff ff to 0000 for timer 1 and in this case overflow flag uh, bit is set whenever the timer register value matches with the contents of pr2 apart from this you can add one more point if you wish uh, wake up from the sleep is available in timer 1 whereas for timer 0 and timer 2 it is not available so this is the comparison between timer 1 timer 0 timer 1 and uh, timer 2 apart from this as far as this block diagram of timer 0 and timer 1 which i have already explained you can well add the register contents related to timer 0 1 and 2 in the explanation which i have already covered in the detailed video let us 
solve one a question the given question is write a program to generate a delay of 10 milliseconds using timer 0 16 bit and no prescaling quite clear we have to make use of timer 0 uh, 16 bit timer and without any prescaling first let us perform the calculation like a question may ye oscillator frequency mention nahi kiya hai so we need to assume the oscillator frequency let f oscillator that is oscillator frequency is 10 megahertz now first part is perform f oscillator by 4 we have already discussed this reason Hamecha, this value f oscillator by 4 gives the frequency of timer so that is 10 upon 4 that is 2.5 megahertz then timer clock period we know that timer clock period is reciprocal of timer frequency Ye f oscillator ko 4 se divide karne ke baad jo value aega wo hai timer clock frequency Timer clock period is reciprocal of this value that is 1 upon 2.5 megahertz. Do remember megahertz means 10 raised to 6. So it is 0.4 microsecond. Microsecond means 10 raised to minus 6. What I did? 1, 1 upon 2.5 into 10 raised to 6. The answer is 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 6. Means 0.4 microsecond. Then calculate n. Given delay is 10 milliseconds. So 10 milliseconds that means given value formula is given value upon timer clock period so 10 millisecond upon 0.4 microsecond millisecond matlab 10 raised to minus 3 so 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 6 because this is microsecond so answer is 25,000 then calculate the count using the formula 65536 minus 25,000 which is 40536 it is in decimal convert it into hexadecimal so it is 9E58H is ka matlab hai jo higher value 9e that must be stored in tmr0h register lower value 58h must be stored in tmr0l that is lower register now let us discuss the program dekho ye programming bahut simple hai aise program aap logo ko skip nahi karna ye calculation same rahega sirf value change ho gaya according to this given data so first is we are talking about only delay program because it is in the question it is asked to write the program related to generation of delay so void delay void tcon is equals to 0x08 this command indicates we are using timer 0 16 bit no pre-scaling so it is 0x08 do remember this command then we have discussed tmr0h load higher register with uh, 90 uh, 9eh this value we just now discussed this value 9eh so this is 9eh load lower register of timer 0 will with 58h then timer 0 control bits dot timer 0 on ye on hai is equals to 1 means we are switching on the timer 0 by making use of this command this is again standard command to switch on the timer 0 then use the we are using while condition because we have said these values will have to wait for certain time period which is this for certain delay and this delay calculation we have already done so while uh, INTCON bits dot uh, timer 0 IF that is timer 0 flag equals to equals to 0 Matlab, is time period tak wait karna hai. then after that after completion of this delay period timer 0 control bits dot timer 0 on equals to 0 Matlab, pahle jo yu one kiya tha, we need to stop the timer by making this bit equals to 0 and next is INT uh, matlab, a flag bit INT control bits dot TMR 0 IF ये फ्लैग बिट भी क्लियर करना है सो दिस इज अबाउट द डिले प्रोग्राम जैसे मैंने बताया कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो तो उसमें डिले में ये वैल्यू चेंज हो गए रिमेनिंग ऑल द थिंग्स आर ऑलमोस्ट कांस्टेंट सपोज अगर क्वेश्चन ऐसा है कि यूजिंग द सेम थिंग यूजिंग दिस 10 मिलीसेकंड डिले दिस सेम टाइमर टॉगल द ऑल द बिट्स कंटीन्यूअसली व्हिच आर कनेक्टेड टू पोर्ट बी तो उसका प्रोग्राम कैसे लिखना है तो आई एम राइटिंग जस्ट मेन प्रोग्राम सो वाइड मेन Trace B equals to 0, we are making use of uh, port B, so this is corresponding co command TRIC B equals to 0, while 1, port B equals to 0x55, where is this command? Look, as a bit pattern, assume uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, so this is the last jo 4 values, hai, 0, 1, 0, 1, this is the answer 5, this is the answer 5, that means 55, now bit toggle, that means where is 1, where is 0, where is 0, karna hai. Jahan pe 0 hai, wahan 1 karna hai. So corresponding bit pattern will be 10101010. So it is AA. This 4 bits corresponds to A. Again, this 4 bits stands for A. 
सो करस्पॉन्डिंग कमांड आर पोर्ड भी पहले हम लोगों ने एज्यूम्ड पैटर्न है जीरो एक्स फिफ्टी फाइव फिर डिले अप्लाई करो डिले मीन विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई दिस विच इज टेन मिले सेकंड देन पोर्ड बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एक्स ए ए मीन्स लोड दिस बिट पैटर्न अगेन अप्लाई द डिले एंड दिस इज द एंड ऑफ प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट इज PWM generation. We can expect one code, one program related to this uh, PWM generation. देखो ये बहुत सिंपल है सिर्फ लिमिटेड चीजें आप लोगों को याद रखनी है यू विल बी इन अ पोजिशन टू अटेम्प्ट एनी प्रोग्राम सो प्लीज डू नॉट स्कीप सच टॉपिक्स बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द प्रोग्रामिंग पार्ट यू शुड नो द टाइमर टू कंट्रोल रजिस्टर दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कंट्रोल रजिस्टर This is bit number seven, bit number zero. Now, bit number seven six five four. These bits, I mean, bit number seven is zero, or don't care. These three bits, bit number six five and four, which is T output PS three, PS two, and PS one. These are the bits used for post scaling. Usually, we are not using these bits, so these bits should be made zero. Then this is bit number two. Is timer to on? Initially, it must be zero. and whenever you will switch on timer 2 it must be 1 then last two bits that is bit number 1 and bit number 0 these are timer 2 clock ps1 and timer 2 clock ps0 these are the bits used for pre scaling purposes so the values you need to remember these simple values if these bits are 0 0 bit number 1 and bit number 0 i am talking like this So bit number one and zero. If it is zero zero, press scale is one. If it is zero one, press scale is four. If it is one x, x means don't care condition. It can be one zero or one one. Then press scale is sixteen. This is about timer two control register. Then CCP control register. This is the structure of CCP control register. Bit number seven and six. We are not using it. Then bit number five four. Uh, these two bits. are related to duty cycle you need to remember these values if this dc1 b1 and dc1 b0 bit number 5 and 4 these values are 0 0 the duty cycle is 0 0 one duty cycle is 0.25 that is 25% duty cycle of the pwm wave then if it is 1 0 duty cycle is 0.5 that is 50% duty cycle and 1 1 it represents 75% that is 0.75 so 75% of duty cycle in this case do remember ccp r1l it stores integral part of the duty cycle now let us discuss one calculation before that for performing the calculation you need a simple formula pr2 we need to calculate the value of pr2 so this pr2 is f oscillator that is oscillator frequency if it is not given in the question you need to assume a particular frequency f oscillator divided by f pwm that is the frequency of pwm wave form that you want to generate that will be mentioned in the question into 4n n is the basically a uh, pre scaling factor so that will be also mentioned in the question if not mentioned you can assume any pre scaling factor i have written pre scaling factors as pre scale 1 pre scale 4 pre scale 16 and so on then ccp r x l this register we will be using this value is pr2 into duty cycle that is dc duty cycle as i said duty cycle will be mentioned in the question for example if it is mentioned write a program Uh, to generate a pwm wave of frequency 1 kilohertz given f oscillator is 10 megahertz and du required duty cycle is 10% if pre scale is not mentioned let us assume pre scale as 16 you can assume any value then let us perform the calculation of pr2 pr2 is look at this formula f oscillator upon f pwm into 4n so pr2 is uh, f oscillator is 10 megahertz if not given we can assume this value 10 megahertz so it is 10 into 10 raised to 6 because given value is in megahertz divided by f pwm we need to generate a pwm wave form of 1 kilohertz so it is 1 kilohertz so it is 1 into 10 raised to 3 into 4 as it is because this is f oscillator upon 4 this value is internally divided before or without thinking any pre scaler so this 4 term is there then this 4 into n n is the pre scale factor which is 16 if not mentioned we 
are assuming it is 16 minus 1 just put the values this answer will be 155.25 now approximately integer part of this is 155 so ccpr xl is pr2 into duty cycle so i have taken a value approximate value 155 into duty cycle is 10 percent dc means duty cycle 10 percent so it is 10 upon 100 that is 15.5 so approximate integer value is 15.15 and decimal value is 0.5. Now look at the decimal values 4.5 corresponding bits of this control register CCP control register 4.5 it should be 1.0. I am talking about these two bits. Now how to write this how to choose the contents of a T2 control register and CCP1 control register. In this case T2 control register is 0x02. See, I am talking about this, this part. So, we are using prescale factor of 16. So, uh, these are 8 bits. We are not using any post scale. So, I am writing 0, 0. First bit is 0. For these 4 bits, I am writing 4 times 0. So, this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Initially, this bit timer 2 should be 0. Then, these values are for uh, prescale 16, it is 1x. I am assuming it is 1, 0. You can well write this as 1, 1. So, this corresponding value, this value is 2 and this value is 0. So, I have written it is 0x02 zero in, <coughs> in this format. If we assume this bit, last bit, it is 1x. So, you can well assume it is 1. If it is 1, then this will be 0x03. Zero zero because this will be 0011. So this is the content of T2 control register. Now CCPI CON that is a CCP1 control register. So this value we know that duty cycle is uh, 0.5 because this is this fractional part is 0.5, 4.5. This corresponding bit should be 10. So I will write here 10. These two bits are don't care condition. Then next part is for PWM mode, these two bits must be 1, 1. So since these are 1, 1 and this is don't care condition, XX is don't care condition. So I will assume this as 0, 0. So this value will be, this is 12, that is C and this value, this corresponding value, if I will assume these bits are 0, 0, then this is 2. So it is 0, X, 2, C because this value is 2 and this is 12 that is C. So these are the contents of CC1 P1 control register. For any programming what will be the change? Only these values will be changed that is oscillator frequency or PWM uh, waveform that you want to generate that frequency will be changed as well as duty cycle will be changed accordingly the calculation will change. Rest all the format will be same. That means if you just remember this uh, timer to control register values then also it is sufficient because almost these values are fixed. Now let us discuss one program. This question is write a program for 2.5 kilohertz that means this is the given frequency of PWM uh, wave and 75% duty cycle PWM generation with n is equals to 4. This is the pre-scaling factor f oscillator that is oscillator frequency is 10 megahertz first we will discuss the calculations the value of pr2 just now we have discussed this formula is f oscillator upon f pwm into 4n minus 1 so f oscillator is uh, 10 megahertz this value f oscillator is 10 megahertz so it is 10 into 10 raised to 6 upon f pwm FPWM is 2.5 kilohertz means 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 kilohertz means uh, 10 you should multiply it with 10 raised to 3 into 4 into n n is the prescaling factor value of prescaling is mentioned that is n is equals to 4 minus 1 so this value is 249 then ccp xl this is given by PR2 into duty cycle. Duty cycle is 75 percent means 75 upon 100 into this value 249. So this is 186.75. Integer part is 186. After decimal point we have 0.75. Then TM2 
timer to control register these values look at the given prescaling value it is 4 we have just now discussed this uh, concept i mean uh, about timer 2 contents a uh, timer 2 register contents since prescaling factor is uh, 4 the last two bits of timer 2 register must be 0 1 so this value is 0 x 0 1 then ccp control register it is 0 x 3 c we already discussed this value because it is 1 1 for 75 percent duty cycle we have uh, referred the table just now we discussed it so for 75 percent duty cycle it should be 1 1 and for generation of pwm waveform it is 1 a 1 1 x x so this corresponding value is 0 x 3 c now we will discuss the coding देखो ये program बहुत simple है सिर्फ ये calculation हर वक्त change हो जाएगी मतलब according to the given value of uh, this frequency and value of n and f oscillator calculations will be changed otherwise the basic program remains same for each and every generation of PWM so first we will include uh, header files then void main uh, CCP control register is equal to zero that means we are clearing this register then PR2 is equal to 249. हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया एक कैलकुलेशन करने के बाद PR2 का वैल्यू आता है 249. So we need to store this value in PR2. Then CCP RI1 ये अल्ले it is 186. ये भी हम लोगों ने कैलकुलेशन किया है. This value will be stored. Then next part is trace bits dot TRIC2 is equal to zero. This is the command to make PWM P in output. तो ये command हर एक के लिए, हर एक PWM generation के लिए common रहेगा. Then timer to control register. This value is 0x01 that we have written. Then CCP control register 0x03. ये भी calculation हमने already किया है. Then initialize timer two. That is TMR2 is equal to zero. Next is Timer to control bits dot timer to on is equals to one. This command is again common to start the timer. Then while one PR, PIR bits dot TMR to IF is equals to zero. This command is used to clear the flag resistance. So this is the corresponding command to clear out the flag uh, flag values. Then we are using while bits while this PIR bits dot TMR to IF means this flag become 0 0 that means we need to wait for this much time period to complete this time period uh, will be decided by the corresponding counter so we will wait for this much time period to complete and uh, that is the end of program that means this program will generate the PWM waveform of frequency 2.5 kilohertz because accordingly we have done the calculations for the timers and so on and it will produce the duty cycle of 75% that's why I have told you the value change hoge, but the basic concept I mean the, all these things remains common Sirf kya kya change hoga according to the variation in the program PR2 ka value change hoga, then this value CCP ka, RIL ye value change hoga according to these calculations and um, remaining things uh, this value timer to control register ke content change hoge and uh, CCP control register ke content change hoge remaining all the things will be same next part is interrupt structure from exam point of view you may expect the question like this draw interrupt structure of peak 18 f microcontroller and uh, define the terms ISR and IVT. First of all, interrupt is an input that informs microcontroller to fetch some new subroutine. Ek interrupt hai to whenever interrupt is generated, the microcontroller will stop executing the main program and will start executing that particular program which is which is uh, indicated by the generation of interrupt. This is called interrupt service routine so interrupt needs isr to fetch that particular routine it needs interrupt service routine every interrupt has fixed memory location where address of isr that is interrupt service uh, routine is stored group of such memory locations is called ivt that is interrupt vector table now do remember two values there are two types basically high priority interrupts and low priority interrupts high priority interrupts are stored at 0008h low priority lp interrupts are stored at 0018h 
अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मैंने डिटेल वीडियो में इसका स्ट्रक्चर एक्सप्लेन किया है विच इज लीगसी मोड एंड प्रायोरिटी मोड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो प्लीज डू नॉट स्किप दैट पार्ट डू वॉज दैट पार्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिपीट इट बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट इन द डिटेल्ड वीडियो नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज कंपेयर मोड फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस ड्रॉ एंड एक्सप्लेन कंपेयर मोड दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ CCP mode of PIC 18F. CCP stands for Compare, Capture and PWM mode. So this is the block diagram of compare mode. बहुत सिंपल है देखो कंपेरिजन करना है मतलब एक रेफरेंस वैल्यू हम लोग स्टोर करेंगे उसके साथ जो वैल्यू कंपेयर करना है वो कंपेयर करेंगे एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द पर्टिकुलर फ्लैग विल बी सिलेक्टेड वेन एवर द मैचिंग इज फॉर्म For comparison, we can use either timer वन or timer थ्री This is optional. Suppose हम लोग timer वन use कर रहे हैं So for सिक्सटीन bit, I am using two registers, higher and lower register of timer वन जहां पर हम लोग reference value store करेंगे Then uh, these values, CCP R1H and CCP R1L, these values, again these are सी पी आर वन एल दीज वैल्यूज अगेन दीज आर सिक्सटीन बिट वैल्यूज दीज विल बी कम continuously compared by using this block whenever matching is found a particular flag is set we have already discussed in detail video about uh, ccp control register values please do watch that uh, video so these are the steps first initialize ccp1 control register then select particular timer either timer 1 or timer 3 initialize these two registers that is ccp r1h and ccp r1l uh for comparison purpose then initialize timer values which are uh, storing reference values start the timer and check whenever uh, you you will get setting of uh, flag bit so whenever the comparison is found a particular flag will be set next is capture mode as the name indicates we can capture a particular event uh we have an option we can use timer 1 and timer 3 it is almost similar to the compare mode but in this case the, an event will be captured and the values will be transferred that captured event will be transferred to ccp r1h and ccp r1l that is totally 16 bit register but do remember the basic thing in this case we are using ccp1 as a input pin in case of compare mode we were using it as a output pin so different steps are initialize ccp1 control register in capture mode then select a particular timer either timer 1 or timer 3 initialize ccp1 pin as input pin then read timer values on first rising edge then read timer values on second uh, rising edge and subtract the values of first rising edge from second rising edge accordingly a particular event will be captured and corresponding uh, flag bit will be set no doubt you can use a pre scaling and all that which is not uh, shown in this diagram So this is about the capture mode of PIC 18F microcontroller. Apart from this, in this unit, you need to watch the video related to features of ADC and interfacing of ADC with PIC 18F microcontroller. I have already created a separate video, detailed video. So I am not covering the features in this session. So, dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you, thanks a lot for watching this video.